Hello, I hope your day is going wonderful. This is Erin from The Petite Planner and today I have some fun back to school doodles for you. So let's jump in with the tutorial. Okay, so for the first couple of these, I'm going to show you exactly how I doodle them and how you can doodle them also with a very simple technique that I teach in my new course, Delighted in Doodling. And this is just the basic technique of using very, very simple shapes that anybody can draw to create more complex doodles. So we're going to start with one that some people might think is pretty hard and we're gonna do a pair of scissors. So the first thing I want you to do is pick up your pencil and we're going to just draw two circles kind of right next to each other. I'm making mine at a diagonal angle, so they'll angle up into this corner, but just as long as your circles are next to each other. And then right from a little ways past the middle, so maybe a third or two thirds of the way over, I'm going to draw two narrow rectangles coming out. Like this. So there we have kind of our basic, I mean, it could look like a pair of scissors, but it doesn't quite yet. So first we need to kind of give these handles some shape. So I'm gonna take from the edge of this circle and pull it in to where it meets this rectangle and do the same on the outside of this circle too. So like that. So now we have this basic shape and then we're gonna add some roundness right here so it doesn't, it's not so blunt. Um, and then when I'm going to pick up my pen for this, just to go over these lines. So I'm going to follow right from where we just made that line around this circle. So here and then up to meet this center point. And then the same thing right here. I'm not going to go all the way around those rectangles just yet. So now we have the handles of our scissors. So you can erase this bottom part if that makes it easier for you. And then we're gonna add our grips. So you're gonna have grips that kind of come in and then almost like a teardrop shape. And you can play with them until you get them right. I highly encourage you to use pencil first. And then for the top, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take and kind of angle these in so that the two points are um, on the inside of both rectangles kind of facing each other. So now we can actually go in and start to outline everything. So pick one handle where it comes all the way across. So it cuts over the front and then back. Now this second one is gonna go under, so we're not gonna draw these two lines. We're gonna come up here and there. And now go over your grips. And then the last thing to do would be to put little lines where your grips end and then put a little circle right here for where they are held together and then when we erase our pencil lines we have a pair of scissors so then we're going to also do a box of crayons so again we'll start with our pencil and we're just going to draw a rectangle This thing, I'm gonna come up one more here. And then I'm gonna add that little thing that it kind of hangs on the rack at the store. So one more rectangle on top. And then I also want to put a rectangle right here where you can see through the box. So this is our basic shape. And then here, I'm just going to start drawing some vertical lines within here. Each of these will be individual crayons. So then from here, all you have to do is kind of round out each of those so that they each have a point on them. Oops. Like that. So I'm gonna go in with my pen and I'm gonna go over all these lines I've just created. And I'm only gonna go over these refined um, crayon lines, so not just the vertical lines that we made. So I'm gonna use those vertical lines to create my crayon but I'm following that pointed tip instead. Like that, then we'll trace around our crayon box. And then I also wanna add some three-dimensional shape to this before I add that little tab actually. 
I just kind of decided last minute. So now I'm gonna add my tab right here, kind of up and a little ways off because then this will come around. We'll add that 3D effect. So like that, and then we can go in and add all of our fine details because our basic shapes have been made. So here you'll put the little thing that it hangs on and then you can add the wrapper to the crayons and you could also add a label to the box. Like that, and then you have a box of crayons. And then the last one we're gonna do is going to be a school bus. So we'll just move over here and we're going to start with a horizontal rectangle. And then we're gonna stack one more on top that's a little bit shorter and doesn't quite reach the end. So right about here. And now we can kind of start to refine this. So we're going to add some wheels here. So we need these half circle shapes for the wheel wells. So one here, one about here. And then you can just turn those into full circles. And then we'll draw another line around for the wheel well. And then we can add some little flare out pieces on the top, on the bottom for like your bumpers. And now I'm gonna go over all my basic shapes with my pen. Okay, so from here, we're just gonna add our last detail. So I'm adding a line right here at the top. I'm gonna finish this line right here between. I'm gonna finish off my wheels here, add a little circle in the middle. Put these wheel wells on. And then I'm gonna add my bus windows. So I'm just gonna put two very close together vertical lines here and then move over a little and put two here. You could add like a little headlight on the front. And then you can also add some horizontal lines. Typically buses have these horizontal lines across the body of the school bus, kind of like that. So this is a shorter version of a standard school bus, but it is a doodly school bus. So from here on out, I'm just going to um, quick draw these. Otherwise this video will take way too long. Um, so you'll see me draw all of the back to school doodles. Also be sure to check out my brand new doodling e-course down in the description. There's also a discount code down there just for you guys on YouTube. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and I hope that these helped you kind of get a grasp of how I doodle and my technique behind doodling anything.